So this talk is so how to build so traditional Perl interpreter. So from Takahiro series. So I'm very so it nervous, nervous. <laughs> so my I introduce so I'm Takahiro series. So chip ID is analog Z. So however Japanese so often call me Anagra. So this is so Twitter account name. So I'm so belong to Okinawa PA. So I a graduate student in Ryukyu University. So my graduate study was Wabuye. So this photo in Japan. So this means so Japanese. So don't, you don't touch the camera. So I was so, uh, but I was heading to Parko. So uh, well, so I have not enough money to uh, money about come from Japan to Riga. But so because I am a student. So those members are individual sponsor about my trip. So thanks for them, so I come to Riga. So, so then let's get to into the main topic. So I usually use programming, so Perl. So but Perl have many versions. What is the Perl version? So I think the most called Perl is Perl file. So the fact that it contains so five means that so, probably so power from power one to power four exists. However, so I never actually used so those parts. So if power two so is real, the course is left. I want to execute and check it. So this talk is so many programmers keep track to get it to update. But this talk will focus to off it off site direction. So we usually so use PRM, Perlblue, Homebrew, apt, and yam when install Perl file. Those commands automatically execute shell scripts and execute make commands. So what if you had installed Perl without using, using package manager commands? So I think to get Perl source code, do compile and execute install. So those processes are called builds. So this book in an uh, industry par uh, in the introductory par published in Japanese a long time ago. Those uh, are lying in this book that says install is also interesting when it comes to par. So I should too. So let's try install historical par version. So those are the results. For example, so par 1.0, so par 2.0. So par 3.0, so and par 4.0. So this contains so how to build par, so how to build uh, now par 1.0, or so par 2.0, par 3.0, uh, how to build par 6. So this I will deal par, par with par written by Rally in this talk. So par is writing uh, written by shear language. So at the beginning of this talk, I think it's about where the source code over there, so historic part version is located. So I think floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that is blank. Um, so I'm very worried. So what, what, what I was taught a Japanese power hackers, he says so all committees are also tightly typed. So I was executing power, uh, git clone power file repository and uh, so git types. So it was so great. So par one to par five. So I dug the flow so par one to the latest par version. So easy to download from GitHub. So how to get traditional par source code. So if you want to get git commit logs, so you you, you can use git clone, so my single branch, so use uh, selected branch, so par one point there. So if you don't know, don't so want to get commit logs, so you can use wget commands. So that turbo, so if you can, you get so turbo in power. With you execute so ls minus l, so you can see that was made in so 1987. <laughs> so where I got the source code. So next we we will history part part there. So there. So by the way. How how they how do you think so the difficult to build change depending on the version? 
So I think so Perl is also more difficult because it is more oldest Perl version. So in fact, Perl is is most easy to build history of Perl version. Conversely, Perl 5.0 was hardest to build. So that's manual, a manual method may need to be uh, so much because Blue and uh, uh, Perl Blue Edos uh, combination uses those days. So first we we execute configure. So configure is shell script. It creates make file in each environment. So next we execute make. Make is execute make commands so based on make file. So finally we use so we execute make install. So make install is put the, the build result in the appliance directory. So in historical part, so make depend is so executing so between configure and make. So what is make depends? So make depends is investigation where is in including header file is located. So trash, so make depends is actually executed at also par file. So it is so ex executed automatically. So all the part is dependent manually on make. So let's look at the detail on each. So the first, the script configure. That first, run first. So configure is execute so on shell. So configure is create config.sh. So config.sh is a shell script. Execute automatically, it is read uppercase sh. So in Power so uppercase sh means setting file. For example, makefile.appsh is so setting file, setting makefile. So config.sh, so create config upper and song sh h and makefile. So how to create configure? So I think so hard writing, so not to use configure, so create configure from so same two. So I think people often use so-called GNU tools, so such as autocomp and automake. Autocomp commands create configure using setting file called configure.e. So creating configure create make file using makefile.e. So other languages, so Ruby and Python have configure.e, so using autocomp. So C compiler LLVM, so does not rely on configure. So because it is CMake. So Perl do, Perl does not have a configure in at from 1.0. First of all, Autoco was not released in Perl 1.0. <laughs> <laughs> so some some say, say well fa the first implementation of Autoco was written Perl. <laughs> so I wonder how Larry was creating his setting. So he created this toolkit by himself. So Larry created this circuit. So this is create configure using setting file. So create packets so from code, so send packets to email. So also the maintenance right was handed over to other people immediately after publication. So metaconfig is part script, so named metaconfig to generation configure. So all the browser so automake, so also written in Wikipedia. So not meta metaconfig in the current GitHub R5 repository. So metaconfig's process. So run pack, so first pack init commands. Pack init puts together the information of the uh, program to be distributed. So next, so load create, uh, next, so metaconfig, executive metaconfig. Metaconfig is load manifest. A manifest is a list of source code, value, internet to use. So load to dot package. So generate a final file, so that arranged program such as CP requires build time. So call to on that. So next, generate a file called absolute. That summarizes the file changes. So finally, generate this configure. So, so present day, this metaconfig, so this toolkit metaconfig is plenty maintenance, but powerful flavor source code so that can run on Perl file. Okay, so, oh, so metaconfig is 
in this toolkit, they are consuming dangerous. Metacoin can be executed by Perl file, so flavor Perl file source code. So this is so Metacoin source code. So main, as you can see, so particular namespace in between so single quotes. So now Perl file is double a common. So for history Perl, so Perl is configured so uh, function files so required to run metaconfig can be used that statement, which is convenient. So part of file convenient is not just using this metaconfig, but it's become more and more often directly rewriting itself. So his try, uh, so rewriting C and X has no big difference between part five and other parts. So party dot C have main function, part dot C is passing page to generating by part dot Y. So yak. So they name this so pal.c and pali.c are uh, replaced for pal5. So pal1.0. So pal1.0, so 1987 is the oldest extended pal. So older than IRC as historical. Publisher and so news group. So grammar and higher so yak, other are rewriting C. So pal1.0 has and two and a half data types. So strings, not scalars. So array of string, so associative array. So this is experimental. <laughs> so power 1.0 associative array, array is not hash. So can add key and value, but it cannot so delete key and value. So only add. So power 1.0 has not range operator for each module, use, my, or local. So power 1.0 variable is all global variable. So PAL 1.0 has so replaced basic regular expression uh, at work underscore. So, so PAL 1.0 has not chomp, but have chomp. So this is PAL 1.0 one page. So PAL, PAL is the interaction language. So it combines so some of the best two features was C, Z, OK, and SH. So this code example PAL 1 script. So can hold loop. But so whole age, so likely social language. So example, so far one script, so this is subroutine. So this subroutine is so calculate max number whole list. So far one subroutine code does not use so parent, so must use so do prefix, prefix so do. So, so okay, so LG. <laughs> so measure so processing time with so here's what example. So, so two code can be uh, so on both PAL 1.0 and PAL 5. So, so this, uh, so standard order so fast read calculate is what? So first, so PAL 5. PAL 1, so other, so than PAL 5. So but 10 million order is what? So PAL 5, so faster than 10 million is what? So than PAL 5. <laughs> So today, PAL1, so PAL1 has a habit of writing PAL1's patches regularly. So all test passing versions exist. So I was implementing the PAL1.0 Docker images. So you can use, you can easily execute PAL1.0 when you use Docker. So, uh, so I, I implementation, so I don't know whether, so it's older or new technologies. So PAL1.0 structures, so SV types, so Advanced. So str types is a simple configuration that only has character asterisk. So naturally depends on machine environment because it depends on the character type. So part one point says so writing is C before so publish K and R C second edition. So part one point zero writing in C before and C. So since C at the time do not have standard, so Return type of the library function was directly depends on pressing system. So those are controlled by the macro. So this is part 1.0, so main function in C. So this is no type, so main, fu so main function, so no, no type in main function. Receive environment in AMP. So take keywords, so register. So register hints a compiler, take a given variable can be, so put a register. So in first place, so the argument is so called so K and R style. So, so he, uh, K and R style, so rewriting like in a sense, Nick and so functions, so minimal part. So he combines so 
prototype and hard writing. So today it's Perl 5, so main function is int type written in Perl main.c. So there's variable changes to make Perl 1 work. So for example, there is commit such as changes function name. So this function name set to end to, so x set to end. So this likely commit, so Perl 1 to point there. So Perl 1 is then process for so first or analyze option, load or, or one file at a time with the file engines. So yak first with lexical analyze, I will just continue to run. So Perl 1 point there do not have SV type. This have so str, arg, and stub type. str is likely SV. Arg is file instruction sequence. So str have so str pointer, str link, str length, str fork. So next part two point there. So part two point is difficult. <laughs> so that included configure can be used as it, but when make defense it destroys relation of the header file of Mac OS. So remake configure itself use meta config that is maintenance. So we, the new created configure will export file across to your environment, which will allow you to make. So next function, so, so Mac OS GCC is LLVM, that is convenience to GCC. So also Mac OS GCC not equal GCC, so Mac OS GCC equal, equal Shrank, so LLVM. So we try install GCC or LLVM, so homebrew. So if you try to build GCC from source code, I think you, you need to so use LLVM Shiram installed with Brew. So the make file was successfully generated, but is it so situation where it can be built substream? So make file so built in and command line suddenly appear in make file. So I cannot build so because it not exists a header file. So that header, header file, so file to be used, written to make file after make depend. So we want to change not generated command line as a thing, so make depends configuration file make depend dot sh. So I want to modify so file to file, so I open make depend dot sh, but make sh, so usually set or set set, so but I don't use, use set and work. So I cannot this I I cannot delete this code. So the give up fixing here. So this code is said. So I remember. So this is part one main page. So it convinced. She said work and said. Oh, so she said and said. Oops. So we have part a part one. So but we have part one. So I use part one one liner. <laughs> So this is part one, one nine so modify, make file. So of course, you can do it with part five. So this point of one liner is semicolon. So, so part one, one liner is so will fail so if they are not semicolon. So as error is generated subcode, so it's nothing to discrete yak. So this line. So I can six comment out, so fix. So, <laughs> so next, sprint separate character pointer or int. So can it type, type so int? So it is not necessary because sprint includes header files in the first place. So this, this are macro, so character pointer or int point int. So oh, I think so them removes. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so next, so uh, I'm not type name, so you really type is so really. So I check man, so modify the type, so UID one score T, so from so UD type. So modify type, so UDIT, so configure type, so so error conflict type, so time. So modify on time, so function wrong type, so modify. So so next, so it is heartbreaking that error so increase. So more so more core, so it not defined as static and one, one, one. So I will put one the magic. So if you want something with GCC, it will automatically enter, but not Shiram. So this magic source code. So in GCC, it is possible to build within the connect point in the just now. So let's try. So part four, four points there. So there is a problem for configures with C library that function name include. So we have part one, five, 
and part one, so replace the other function name with using one liner. So part 5.0 5 is most difficult built so historical part versions. Even if configure is recreating with meta config, make file cannot be created. So I guess I try it so hand right. So I was so finally so last IT introduction to part six. So part six current part six is manifest mainstream is RACT. So RACT is three state configures of VM, uh, NQP, and um, part six. So traditional part six is provide like bugs and parts. So our characters for part six that is run run configure between so part. So not in the shell script. Okay, so in this discussion so far, we have understand the part dependence or something. So first, part two, so build, we need part five. So because should modify this code using part. So part five, so when part five build, we need part five because we use git command using git source code. So when part six builds, so we need part five because we should exit configure.pm, so written by part five. So we need a part five binary to build a part. So next, I have so three projects needing traditional part. So first, rewriting part one, source code, C2, Rust. <laughs> <laughs> so next, so implementing inline part one at part five, C5. So this, so finally, so implementing script to run all part versions with one runner. So part all, so I try implementing. So conclusion, so part five is greatest, so we can build all part versions. So let's try build all part versions. So thank you for listening. <laughs>